Ever pondered how much of your personal information is floating around in the digital world? The concept of internet privacy is more than just a trendy buzzword. It's a significant concern that affects us all. In the vast digital landscape of the 21st century, your personal information can be as vulnerable as a leaf in the wind. Every day we share our lives online, from social media interactions to online shopping. But do we ever stop to think about the trails of digital footprints we leave behind? These trails can lead to a gold mine of information for the unscrupulous, opening the doors to data breaches, identity theft, and unwanted surveillance. As the internet continues to permeate every aspect of our lives, the threats to our personal information grow more concerning. The conversation around internet privacy is evolving, and it's high time we paid attention. If you haven't thought about it yet, now might be the right time to start. You might ask, how can you protect your information while surfing the web? Let's dive into the world of privacy tools designed to maintain your online privacy and security. First up, we have virtual private networks, or VPNs. These tools act like a secret tunnel between your device and the internet. They mask your IP address, making it difficult for anyone to trace your online activities back to you. Think of it as going undercover while you surf the web. VPNs are vital for keeping your data safe, especially when using public Wi-Fi networks, which can be hotspots for digital eavesdropping. Next, let's talk about encrypted messaging apps. In this age of constant communication, it's important to keep our conversations private. That's where these apps come in. They use something called end-to-end -end encryption. This means that only you and the person you're communicating with can read what's sent. Even the company that provides the service can't access your messages. It's like having a secret language that only you and your friend understand. Lastly, we have privacy-focused browsers. Unlike mainstream browsers that track your activities for advertising purposes, these browsers prioritize your privacy. They block tracking cookies, limit data collection, and even offer features like automatic data deletion after each browsing session. It's like cleaning up after yourself every time you leave a room, leaving no trace behind. It's important to note that while these tools can significantly improve your online privacy, they're not a 100% guarantee. It's still crucial to practice safe browsing habits. Think of these tools as a bulletproof vest. It offers protection, but it's still best to avoid getting shot. These tools can be your first line of defense against unwanted snooping or data breaches. They offer you a layer of protection, helping you maintain control over your data and keeping your online activities private. Remember, in the digital world, your privacy is priceless. Don't give it away for free. Are you familiar with the term VPN? Let's delve into how it can protect your privacy. Imagine you're in a crowded marketplace, everyone bustling about, and you're trying to have a private conversation. It's noisy, it's crowded, and anyone could potentially eavesdrop on your conversation. That's what using the internet without a VPN is like. Now imagine the same scenario, but this time you're in a private soundproof booth. That's the kind of privacy a VPN or virtual private network provides. So, what exactly is a VPN? Think of it as a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. This tunnel encrypts your data, making it unreadable to anyone who might intercept it. This could be your internet service provider, hackers, or even government agencies. But how does it work? Well, when you connect to a VPN, your device communicates with the VPN server, and the server then connects to the wider internet. This means that your internet service provider sees you're connected to a VPN server, but can't see what websites you're visiting or what data you're sending and receiving. Using a VPN is pretty simple. First, you'll need to choose a VPN service. There are many out there, some free, some paid. Paid services often provide a more reliable and faster connection, but free services can be a good starting point. Once you've chosen a service, you'll need to download and install their VPN client on your device. After that, it's as easy as clicking connect. So why should you use a VPN for browsing? There are several key benefits. First off, privacy. Your internet service provider, advertisers and anyone else trying to track your online activities will have a harder time doing so. A VPN also helps protect your data from hackers, especially when using public Wi-Fi networks, which are often unsecured and a prime target for cyber criminals. Secondly, a VPN allows you to bypass geographical restrictions. Ever been denied access to a website or video because it's not available in your country? 
With a VPN, you can appear to be browsing from anywhere in the world. This also allows you to access content that might be censored in your country. Lastly, using a VPN can help prevent bandwidth throttling. Some internet service providers slow down your internet speed if they detect you're doing data-heavy tasks like streaming or gaming. By hiding what you're doing online, a VPN can help ensure you get the speed you're paying for. In conclusion, a VPN is a powerful tool for preserving your online privacy. It hides your online activities, protects your data, allows you to access content from anywhere, and can even improve your internet speed. Remember, the internet is a vast and complex place, and while a VPN can provide a significant layer of protection, it's not a silver bullet. It's one of many tools you should use to protect your privacy online. With a VPN, you can browse the internet with an added layer of security. Ever worried about someone reading your private messages? There's a solution. In this digital age, Privacy is a priceless commodity, and when it comes to our personal messages, we want to ensure they stay personal. That's where encrypted messaging apps come in. These are not your average messaging apps. Encrypted messaging apps are designed with privacy as their central focus. They use something called end-to-end -end encryption, a sophisticated technology that ensures only you and the person you're communicating with can read what's sent. Let's break this down a bit. Imagine sending a letter through the mail. Normally, anyone who intercepts the letter can read it, but with end-to-end -end encryption, it's as if your letter is put in a secure box and only the recipient has the key to open it. Even if someone intercepts the box, they can't access the letter inside. That's the beauty of end-to-end -end encryption. So, how do you use an encrypted messaging app? The process is quite simple and user-friendly. First, you download the app from your respective app store. Once installed, you'll sign up using your phone number or email address. From there, it's just like using any other messaging app. You send text messages, make calls, and even send files. The difference is, everything you send is encrypted. There are several encrypted messaging apps available, including Signal, Telegram, and WhatsApp. These apps are free to use and offer a range of features. Some even allow you to set messages to disappear after a certain period, adding an extra layer of security. But remember, while these apps offer a high level of privacy, they're not completely impervious. Always be mindful of what you share and with whom you share it. So if you're seeking a more secure way to communicate, consider giving encrypted messaging apps a try. They're easy to use and they offer a level of privacy that standard messaging apps simply can't match. With encrypted messaging, your private conversations can stay just that, private. Do you know your browser can be a gateway to your private information? When you surf the web, leaving behind a trail of digital breadcrumbs, you may not realize that your browser plays a significant role in this process. It's not just about the websites you visit, it's also about the browser you use to access these websites. Today, we delve into the world of privacy-focused browsers, a key tool for those seeking to enhance their online privacy. Privacy-focused browsers are not your everyday Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, they're designed with one primary goal in mind, to protect your privacy as you navigate the vast digital landscape. These browsers take a proactive stance against tracking cookies, intrusive ads, and other tools that websites use to collect and analyze your data. So how do these privacy-focused browsers differ from their more mainstream counterparts? Well, they employ a variety of techniques to keep your browsing habits under wraps. For starters, they block third-party cookies by default. These cookies are often used by advertisers to track your online activities and target you with personalized ads. Additionally, privacy-focused browsers often employ advanced encryption techniques to ensure that your data remains safe and secure. They make it difficult for anyone, be it a hacker, your internet service provider, or even the government, to see what you're doing online. Moreover, some of these browsers offer features like automatic data deletion after each browsing session, making it even harder for anyone to build a profile of your online behavior. Others go a step further and route your internet traffic through multiple servers across the globe, effectively hiding your IP address and making your online activities virtually untraceable. Now you might be wondering, how do I use a privacy-focused browser for secure browsing? It's simpler than you might think. First, you'll need to choose a privacy-focused browser that suits your needs. There are several options available, including Tor, Brave, and Firefox Focus, each with its own set of pros and cons. Once you've chosen a browser, download and install it just as you would with any other browser.
From there, it's all about adjusting your settings to maximize your privacy. This might include enabling features like tracking protection, blocking third-party cookies, and setting the browser to delete your browsing history after each session. Remember, the goal is not to make your browsing experience inconvenient, but to give you control over your personal data. In the age of data breaches and constant surveillance, maintaining your online privacy has never been more critical. And while a privacy-focused browser won't make you invisible on the web, it's a significant step in the right direction. Switching to a privacy-focused browser could be a game-changer in your quest for internet privacy. So why not take that step today? It could be the best decision you make to protect your online privacy. We've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? It's been a journey through the vast world of internet privacy, an essential topic in our increasingly digitized world. Let's take a moment to revisit some of the key points we've discussed and reinforce the importance of these tools and techniques in safeguarding our online presence. We started off by understanding the concept of internet privacy, a fundamental right that seems to be under threat in today's age of information. We painted a picture of a world where every click, every search, every online interaction can be traced back to us. We learned how our data becomes a commodity, traded and exploited, often without our knowledge or consent, and we saw how this can lead to violations of our privacy, from targeted advertising to identity theft. But, not all hope is lost. We then dove into the wide array of tools and techniques available to us, designed to protect our privacy and give us control over our digital footprints. Central to this is the use of virtual private networks, or VPNs. We explored how these networks create a secure tunnel for our data to travel through, keeping it safe from prying eyes. We saw how a VPN can mask our IP address, making our online activities untraceable and preserving our anonymity on the web. Next, we delved into the realm of encrypted messaging apps. These apps provide end-to-end -end encryption, ensuring that only the sender and the recipient can read the messages. We learned how these apps prevent third parties, including the service providers themselves, from accessing our private conversations, protecting our personal communications from potential eavesdroppers. And finally, we turned our attention to privacy-focused browsers. These browsers are designed with our privacy in mind, offering features such as tracking protection, private browsing modes, and even the option to route our traffic through a network of servers to further anonymize our online activities. Each of these tools plays a crucial role in protecting our online privacy. But remember, these tools are not a one-size-fits-all solution. They are part of a broader strategy, a multi-layered approach to internet privacy. It's essential to understand their strengths and limitations, and to use them in combination to maximize their effectiveness. Let's not forget, the responsibility for our online privacy ultimately lies with us. It's up to us to stay informed, to actively make use of these tools, and to take the necessary steps to protect ourselves online. It's a continuous process requiring constant vigilance and an understanding that our privacy is an ongoing battle in the digital world. So, as we wrap up, Let's carry forward the knowledge we've gained today. Let's be proactive, let's be vigilant, and let's take control of our online privacy. Because at the end of the day, our privacy is not a privilege, it's a right. And it's a right worth fighting for. Remember, your privacy is your right. Take control and protect it today.